So I have accumulated a ton load of products within the past year or two and let's just say that this video is way overdue. I have way too many products to show you and I will need to break this video or this series into a few videos if that makes sense or if you guys don't mind. Um, I don't even know where I'm going to start. There's so many products. I'm sure you guys know this but I am obsessed with the Batiste dry shampoos. This is by far the the best quality dry shampoo that I've tried for the cheapest price. And this scent is the Proud and True Brit. Um, I don't know if these were limited edition, but I can't find them anywhere anymore, so unfortunately they're probably hard to find. I was so sad when I couldn't find this at Ulta anymore because this is probably my favorite scent out of all the ones that they have. Um, currently I'm using the Cheeky Cherry fragrance. I don't know if that's what it is. Um, but yeah, these work so amazing. I thought I used up more than two. I probably threw away the other can, but I've used at least three of these already, and you can't go wrong. I swear. I swear to God. And by the way, I'm just picking up whatever products I see on the ground right now, because everything just scattered. And I have all of the makeup products that I've used up in this slush bag, which is really heavy. I've used up this shaving cream by EOS. This is the Lavender Jasmine scent. You can either shave uh, with this wet or dry. I like to use this in the shower, but I really like this shaving cream. Um, prior to this, I haven't tried any other shaving creams, and um, I was just really intrigued that EOS had a product like this because I know I love their lip balms, and I just figured that this would be a good shaving cream because it says, Evolution of Smooth. How could you not be sold by that? And it lasted me a long time, actually. Um, right now I'm using the one in the pink bottle, and I also really like that. So these two products right here I actually haven't used up all the way, but they're pretty much expired. I got these three years ago, and I stopped using them last year. But I got these for prom, um, around the time that I bought my makeup that I was using for prom, because around that time I was also starting to get into makeup more, and I think I was just shopping at Estee Lauder, because. Uh, my mom wanted to buy something from there and I ended up getting my makeup done. And as always, like, you know, the salespeople, they trick you into buying things that you really don't need. And at the time, I wasn't really using skincare items and somehow I just ended up buying these. But these are so amazing. This is the Estee Lauder Idealist. Um, this is the Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher. And this is the dual action refinishing treatment. You use this first as like a mask. It's one of those masks that when you exfoliate it into your skin, it turns hot. Like, I can't explain it. Like when you rub it into your skin, it just, it warms up the face. And I think that really helps with the like texture because the texture is really grainy. It really exfoliates really well. Um... But that really helps to open your pores, and I find that since this is also a mask, that just helps 10 times even more to cleanse your face and purify it of all of the um, like sebum and just dirt that's lying in your face and your pores, all the oil. It's just an amazing product, and it doesn't dry out my skin. Um, I wish I'd bought a new pair of these, but I kept on using it, but I knew that it was time to throw them away because they expired last year. And this one is the pore minimizer. Basically, you just smooth this over after your moisturizer and it acts as a primer and it's probably the best primer that I've ever used, hands down. I don't know why I haven't repurchased this, like I said, so good thing I'm doing this video because I plan on purchasing it. Um, I'm just in love with this. I've used uh, four of the Delon Plus body butters. I've used another tub of the mango version and this one's the mango. I've used up the coconut one and the um, olive one, which is the last one that I just finished. Excuse me. I'm currently using the uh, the vanilla one, and I really, really like this one. Next to the mango, it's probably my favorite as well. These body butters, I swear to God, are so amazing. They just sink into your skin. It makes it feel so hydrated and so, um, what's that word? supple is that the word it's quick absorbing into the skin it doesn't leave like a greasy film on your skin as some lotions do 
and it's not tested on animals. It leaves your skin feeling silky soft and protected. It has long lasting moisture. I use this like in the morning before I put on my clothes and um, after I get out of the shower and these are hands down one of the best um, body butters that you can find. And I believe you can find this at Costco. That's probably the only place that I found these but I I'm pretty sure you can find these online for even cheaper um, for like a value pack of four or something. But yeah, definitely look into these if you haven't yet. I've used a Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Toner. I, I liked this at first, but I don't know. I kind of have 50-50 thoughts about this because one, this is good for oily skin and oily skin only. Um, don't be fooled by what it says on the packaging. It says it's non-drying and for all skin types, but if you guys do your research and you guys know what kind of toners there are and what certain kinds are for certain skin types, um, you guys would know that Witch Hazel is probably the strongest. It's good if you have a lot of oil buildup, but I don't find that it's moisturizing. As it says on the packaging, it says that it locks in moisture. Um, it does do everything else except that. Just don't be fooled by what the packaging says because it's really not for all skin types. But this is a good toner. Um, obviously, since I used it all, I didn't return it because it was bad. But um, also be aware that this does come in a really, really strong scent. And I don't suggest taking a whiff of it when you first buy it because I literally almost gagged when I bought this. But um, this is a good toner for oily skin. I've used up two of the Maybelline Dream Matte Powders. I am in love with this powder. I always talk about it. Um, it really, it mattifies my skin. It doesn't make me look cakey. It's really, really finely milled. It's really nice for oily skin because it does control my shine throughout the day really well. And it's just great for on the go. It has a mirror, if you guys don't know. And it's super compact and you could just bring a, a little brush with you in your bag and uh, touch up whenever you want. It's really awesome. I love this powder. I have a Maybelline Baby Lips in Peppermint, I believe that's what it's called. This is probably one of the best lip balms I've ever used. Seriously, this stuff keeps your lips moisturized for so long. It doesn't leave like a really thick layer of balm on your lips and I hate that. It also gives an SPF of 20, which is so good for your lips, especially if you live in a climate where there's lots of sun. I don't live in a climate where there's lots of sun, but I still like to have extra protection on my face at all times. I love the smell of this. I love just how cute the packaging is and everything about it I love. I don't know why I haven't repurchased this yet. Probably because I have a ton of lip balms in my collection that I'm still using. And I'm close to finishing the Nivea Milk and Honey lip balm. That's pretty much all I have left. But I use this every night before I go to bed and this is probably my favorite besides this. And once I finish this, I'll probably put this in a future um, empties video. And lastly, something that I cherish and love so much is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is the first bottle that I've ever owned. I'm currently on the second bottle, um, the full size one. This is actually a the smaller sized. But uh, I love this stuff so much. It's just, if you guys don't know what it is, some people use it to set their makeup, some people use it to refresh their makeup, to spray it on while they have their makeup to make it look not so cakey. Some people use this before, um, prior to application of makeup. Some people use this in the morning just to refresh your face. It's just an amazing product. Um, although I do think that toners aren't like completely necessary in a skincare routine, and I'm totally biased because I use the acne.org regimen, but <laughs> um, this is really great. Um, it's totally not necessary, but it's just a really nice luxury to have. If you want just something that will revitalize and lift you up in the morning, this is really, really good. I love the smell of this especially. I find that it kind of smells like Coca-Cola mixed with like a, a minty scent. I really want to try their grape water. Because um, according to Josh Collier uh, here on YouTube, he really likes that over this, so I'm probably going to look into that. And it's way cheaper. I think it's like $18, whereas the Caudalie full size is like $49. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all that I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to save everything else for future videos. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video, share it if you can, um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So I will see you guys in my next video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!